Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Dumper Anxiety. I provide audio and email coaching to help people try and get their ex back or get a new girlfriend or boyfriend. Check out my website for more details, www.dateme.tips. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast and today we are discussing dumper anxiety. So if you have been dumped and you want to try to get your ex back, it is very natural to be wondering what your ex is thinking and feeling. And most dumpies will fall into one of two categories. The first group of dumpies will believe that their ex, the dumper, will never think of them again. They believe that their ex, the dumper, will move forward with their life without another second thinking about them, the dumpy. They don't believe that they cross their ex's mind at all and that the dumper feels no stress, no concern and will have absolutely no reason to one day consider contacting them. The second group of dumpies believe that the reason why their ex, the dumper, hasn't contacted them is because they are fearful and they're feeling a lot of anxiety about showing that they've made the wrong choice. So this group of dumpies will believe that although their ex might want to contact them, they won't because they will certainly not want to lose face. They are certainly not the type of person who would ever do this because they are stubborn or they are somebody who would never ever want to come across as of making the wrong decision. And therefore, this group of dumpies will often be the type of person who really pushes as for why they don't believe they should be implementing my version of the no contact rule and instead will start to try to push the agenda that they should be reaching out to their ex for dumper because if they don't, the dumper will never get in contact again. So in today's podcast, I thought I should discuss dumper anxiety and why neither group of dumpies, in my opinion, is 100% accurate or correct with their theory. I believe it is somewhere in the middle and I will explain today what I mean and what this means for you, the dumpy. So first of all, we need to understand why somebody ends a relationship. So when two people are in a relationship, they both will be feeling a high level of romantic emotional attraction for one another. Now, for various potential reasons, this level of romantic emotional attraction would have dropped for one or both people. And once it gets to a certain low point, that is when one such person will decide to end a relationship. So basically, the level of romantic emotional attraction has dropped so far, they are no longer wanting to be in a romantic relationship with their partner, the soon-to-be dumpy. So at this stage, they will end the relationship. And this is when obviously the breakup takes place and it could go various ways. You know, the dumpy might stay emotionally stable and put themselves in a much better position to try to get their ex back. Or the dumpy might go very over the top emotional. It's very natural and understandable that a dumpy is going to be feeling a lot of stress right now. But as I've spoke about in other podcasts, the more stress and drama that the dumpy brings to the actual breakup, well, they're actually lowering the level of romantic emotional attraction even further. And hence, they've got a harder journey ahead of them to one day get their ex back. And the reason for this is because the dumper will decide to reach out to the dumpy if the level of romantic emotional attraction raises once more to a certain high point. And it is at that moment that they will be deciding whether or not to reach out to the dumpy. So I've mentioned and spoke about in depth in various podcasts about how a dumpy, after they've been broken up with, can raise the level of romantic emotional attraction in their ex's eyes. So if you want to learn about these theories, please remember to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications on my new uploads. But today we are discussing dumper anxiety and when the level of romantic emotional attraction has raised once more to a sufficient level for when the dumper will be considering whether or not they should actually reach out to their ex, 
this is when there is some anxiety at play because they will now be at the stage where they are considering reaching out to their ex, but they will, as some dumb peas worry, actually start to consider themselves, you know what, what if I reach out and I get rejected? So there is some truth to the fact that a dumper will feel some anxiety. It will cross their mind that, you know, I made a bad decision, now I'm going back on it, and maybe the dumpy will be thinking, look, I don't want to talk to, I don't want to talk to me, you know, because of what I've done, and there's probably no point in me sending this message, it's too late. There will be an element of anxiety at play. But this isn't exactly how it will play out. So let's understand exactly what is going on. So as I said at the start, the first group of dumpies will be thinking to themselves that their ex the dump will never ever consider contacting them again. And this will only be true if the level of romantic emotional attraction never raises to the sufficient level. Okay, so this group of dumpies is kind of slightly right, but only if the level of romantic emotional attraction doesn't raise. And that's why it's so important that you do the right things. You implement my version of a no contact rule. You use the hints, tips and advice that I give in other podcasts. As I said, please subscribe. Please ring that bell. So the first group of dumpies have a point to an extent, but only if they don't grow the level of romantic emotional attraction in the dumper's eyes. The second group of dumpies, they are the ones that believe that their ex might want to contact them but won't due to anxiety because they're thinking, look, I don't want to lose face. Maybe the dumpy won't want anything to do with me. I'm stubborn, these kind of things. Well, again, they have a slight bit of correct thoughts in here. You know, there is a, a slight element of them being right. And that is, but there is going to be that initial anxiety from the dumper. However, this will only start to come, become relevant once the dumper is first considering the possibility of reaching out to their ex. And they will first start to consider reaching out to their ex, the dumpy, once the level of romantic emotional attraction has first been hit. So let's try to imagine a situation where you're, you're driving your car, you're low on petrol, you're low on gas, you go to the petrol station and you start to fill up. And when you're looking at that dial... At first, but the petrol gauge, but the gas gauge, whatever you like to call it, where you live in the world, you will notice at first it's very, very low. That is why you needed to go to the station to fill up. So imagine that is romantic emotional attraction. Okay. You start to fill up with petrol, you start to fill up with gas, and it starts to slowly move up. The dial starts to slowly move up. That is the level of romantic emotional attraction. Now, if you decided to just put in the minimum amount you needed before you could drive off and complete your journey, you would only put a small amount in. So basically, as you're watching that dial, you'll be thinking to yourself, okay, there is some in here now. I could probably finish my journey. Should I go? And then you start to have that anxiety, the anxiety of, do I fill up fully and spend a lot more money? Or do I just fill up just a little bit just to finish my journey? And you have that anxiety, you have that thought pattern. That is like what a dumper will be going through, okay? Because the dumper's level of romantic emotional attraction is just hit that, that kind of that initial point where they're considering, okay, I could be reaching out to the dumpy now. I'm starting to feel something for them again. And they have that anxiety of, mm, should I, shouldn't I? Is it a good idea? Is it worth it? And that is the point that I'm trying to discuss. So you're at that moment where you think, mm, I don't know, I don't know. But if the level of romantic emotional attraction keeps on rising then the likelihood is that the dumper will think to themselves, you know what, I'm just going to go for this. So a bit like with the petrol analogy, with the gas analogy, you're filling up, okay, if you decide to fill up more and the, and the gauge goes up, you know that you're going to be able to drive further. You feel like you're taking less of a risk in completing your journey because you've got more petrol in. You've got more gas in, so it's going to be fine. Even though you could have done it earlier, you've got that anxiety and you might decide to, to fill up further. This is the same thing. So when the level of romantic emotional attraction first hits the necessary level, that is when there might be some anxiety. The dumper might think to themselves, well, what if the dumpy says no? What if the dumpy ignores me? What if I lose face? But 
If everything keeps progressing the way it has, if the dumper keeps doing the right things, if the dumper keeps going through their own life journey, which is pulling on their strings, you know, automatically themselves, then the level of romantic emotional attraction will continue to raise. And once it gets even higher, the dumper will be thinking, well, you know, forget this anxiety. I'm just going to do this. You know, I'm going to be stressing more if I don't take this chance than if I do. So in essence, what I'm trying to say is, that dumpees in both sections, in both camps, in both groups, have an element of truth to their belief system. The first group of dumpees believe that their ex will not even think about them and would never consider reaching out to them again. And although a dumper is always likely to think about their ex at some stage, it is true that if a dumpee doesn't raise the level of romantic emotional attraction in the dumper's eyes, then the dumper won't ever think about contacting them again. So there is the element of truth there. But if a dumpy can raise the level of romantic emotional attraction, then the dumper certainly will consider reaching out to them again. And that leads us into the second group of dumpies. The ones that believe, well, they might think about it, but they won't do it. My ex is stubborn. My ex will never consider reaching out to me because they don't want to lose face. They might be wondering, what if I don't reply? Well, again, there is an element of that. And that anxiety will come at the initial moment where the dumper has reached the necessary level of romantic emotional attraction. But if everything keeps going forward, if that level continues to raise, then the anxiety will start to drift away in the dumper's mind because the dumper will be thinking, well, I've got nothing to lose. I've got more to lose if I don't take this risk. So eventually the dumper will do it. So even if the dumper is feeling some anxiety, they will push through it naturally. The dumpy doesn't have to do anything extra. The dumpy just needs to keep doing what they are doing to raise the level. Just keep doing what you are doing. And as time ticks by, this will eventually get to a stage where the dumper can't take it anymore. So although there might be a time where a dumper is thinking, should I or shouldn't I, should I or shouldn't I? Mm, no, I'm not going to bother. They might not do it that day. But you give it a few more days or weeks, okay, maybe even a few more months, but it will get to the point where they have to do it for their own sanity. And it's so important a dumper does it for them and not because a dumpy has persuaded them, because it's not true. If a dumpy breaks no contact and tries to persuade their ex to speak with them, very occasionally it will happen, but it will be from a place of pity because the level of romantic emotional attraction won't be high enough, it won't be ready. If you put a cake in the oven, you've got to wait until it's cooked. Because if you pull it out too early, it'll be flat. And that is exactly what will happen if a dumpy breaks no contact and tries to persuade their ex to speak with them. Very occasionally it will happen. But if it is from a place of pity, it will likely not last. You need the dumper to contact you when they are ready. And that will be at a time when they have passed the point of anxiety. Trust the system. Now, there is no 100% guaranteed way to get your ex back and not every dumpy will hear from their ex again. And that unfortunately is because, but not everybody will be able to raise the level of romantic emotional attraction to the necessary high point. It doesn't always happen. It's not always possible. And hence, I don't suggest a dumpy waits around and clock watches. But dumpy must move forward with their life. But if they do everything right, whilst at the same time moving forward, you know, these things go hand in hand. They, they stand every chance of raising the level of romantic emotional attraction in their ex's eyes until the point where the dumper is considering reaching out to them. They might have some anxiety, but they will push through that. And one day they will make contact with the dumpy again in most instances. At that point, the dumpy can regrow the connection, rebuild the attraction fully and start a new relationship with the dumper if that is what both people wish to do. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description. Yeah, if you miss your ex, we can help with that. Help you get him back. Or we can help find you someone else. Yeah, yeah. Vincent Bo, the relationship coach. Uh, giving you some insight, bringing you a new approach. Date me that tips. Go and check the site. Uh, giving you advice, helping with your love life. Get your ex back or move to the next. Ain't no sweat. You know Vincent Bo got you finding love. Ain't no problem. Yeah, date me that tips. Check it out now.